Hey guys, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. I was going to do a pasture garden update. As you can see, there's been a trench cut out on this side of the garden and on that side. We had over five inches of rain Tuesday and it took out a good bit of what we're growing, but I want to show you everything in its stages coming up. That way you'll know what it, everything is supposed to look like. So down here, I have um, seven short rows of corn, and I'm going to zoom in, but that is corn coming up right there, and you can see it all the way up. The dirt looks extremely sandy and rocky after this um, flood we've had, so just bear with it, but we're looking good. Everything is still coming up. My eggplants I transplanted down here, they... I just don't think they're going to make it. Some of these are just demolished. Look at this one. The, I mean, I'm standing down in a trench. That one was just completely uprooted. But we've got more corn right here. I mean, look at that, guys. That's, that's pretty significant. So we've got some eggplants, bell peppers, all of our... Cucumbers seem to have made it, as well as our tomatoes look great. I do want to show you this. This right here is mustard that we had last fall that we did not um, get to pull up. And there's actually a few carrots at the bottom that we have as well. In between those, you can see just a few that I've left. But that is mustard that has went to seed. It is going to seed, it's actively blooming. And this stuff will get huge. I mean, that is tall, almost, it's, it's over four foot tall from bottom to tip. So if you're gonna save mustard seed, this right here is what you want to look for. Now, not the yellow flowers behind it, but those few sprigs right there, you can see the mustard that's growing along the edge. I thought that was very interesting. So all our tomatoes look good. Cucumbers are hanging on. We've got runners on these. They're still a little weak. These took the worst beat of them all, but everything else looks really good. We have okra starting to come up. You can see right there, we've got just a few little okra seedlings. We've got two rows of that. Here we have bush beans. Coming up all along the row. Another row of bush beans. And these look really good coming up. We've got several of those. Then we have our cow peas. We lost one entire row of these. It was completely wiped out because now we're getting near this trench. I mean, guys, it's crazy. But I planted my cow peas next to my corn. I had four rows of corn. And it just did not... It did not fare. I've got a few cow peas on the row beside the corn. And then here's corn over here. But I want you to see the seedlings coming up and how it looks. And you can see the long row. The corn will grow quickly. Cow peas doing great. That's what a cow pea is. It's interesting to learn all of this. And after you plant it, you'll start to learn what is what. And you won't have any trouble trying to see what you've planted you'll know that that's corn and you'll know it each seedling but if you've never done it before then you have to learn so but all of our transplants look real good you can look across through there but that trench guys we lost a good bit lost a real good bit i did want to show you this our tomatoes i mean they are they're, they're growing tall. They're growing well. We're doing great. We've got Cherokee uh, bush pumpkins. We've got some zucchini up here. Still more tomatoes. I did want to show you what I found today. Look at that. It's something about, y'all, this dirt looks poor as it can be. But these tomatoes, whatever it is, they thrive. I've got one little tomato that's not going to make it. But otherwise... All of these tomatoes are doing excellent. I want you to see this. We've already got one little squash. He's bloomed. He looks great. That's Dixie Hybrid. 
um and you can see some more down in there that's getting ready we planted the smooth criminal straight neck squash this is supposed to be vertically i don't know if he'll take and i don't think that little squash will make so we'll, we'll just see how it goes but he he looks good looks real good so i just wanted to give you kind of a little pasture garden update guys you can plant anywhere now this may not be the biggest abundant most abundant crops but i want you to see the seedlings and how they look coming up we'll see you next time on Harmon homestead